As we've seen from some of the recent cyber attacks, uh, SolarWinds, Microsoft Exchange Server, two very significant cyber attacks. The importance of cybersecurity is growing as we become increasingly dependent on information and communication technologies. I'm Andy Purdy. I'm Chief Security Officer for Huawei Technologies USA, a position I've held for about nine years now, and it's certainly been quite a journey. One of the questions I've been asked most over the years is, should we trust Huawei? And frankly, people ask me, well, you know, do you trust Huawei? Do you trust China? I don't think we can afford to trust anyone. I know my company is committed to promoting greater cybersecurity and greater privacy protection. Well, we, we have a principle or, or a slogan for cybersecurity and privacy. ABC, assume nothing, believe no one, and check everything. So one of the troubling things about the actions that the U.S. government has taken against Huawei, that there is a total absence of evidence. I mean, it's just really outrageous, the fact that these consequences, these penalties are imposed because uh, there is no evidence of, of wrongdoing. Sometimes there's been some pressure from people uh, in social media particularly about the fact that I work for Huawei. Uh, there's been some bad things said uh, about me. Well, I've never thought about leaving Huawei because of pressure from people or, or saying bad things. Uh, certainly, there are some things that are concerning uh, that upset my family that, that, that certainly give me pause. Um, but the things I say, I say what I believe. No one tells me what to say or what not to say. Uh, and I feel good about what Huawei is trying to do in terms of the various standards efforts around the world, including 5G in terms of the the standards for telecom equipment. But it is interesting that, that when I go to some large conferences, because I've done a lot of webinars and, and some media and stuff, uh, some independent experts that I know about will take me aside and say, we really agree with what you're saying about trust no one uh, and you need a zero trust approach. It's very heartening that, uh, that they share the, the perspective that, that I you know, believe in so strongly. We have seen globalization uh, in the last 30 or 40 years. And society has benefited because globalization can bring about greater innovation, greater competition, and reduce costs. And, and so folks working together, sometimes in partnership, sometimes competing, has to be part of a collaboration within countries to bring about technology and globally to develop standards and best practices. So it, it's a very exciting time, but we have to work together to make that happen. So I am just finishing my ninth year working with Huawei, and I must say it has been an exciting and heartening experience to work with dedicated people to make sure that we are managing the risks from cybersecurity and privacy in as effective a way as possible. And we're sharing our experience with others so that we can all benefit and learn because we're all in this journey together. And, and I'm, I'm very proud and very fortunate to to participate in this in this journey